Previously on Looney Life, we headed south to Miami Beach in downtown Miami and also over to Palm Beach to check out the infamous Worth Avenue. We are walking into Everglades National Park, trying to watch for cars as I talk. <laughs> uh, apparently the parking lot is full. It didn't occur to me it'd be that busy, but uh, parking lot's full, so we had to park outside and walk in. So anyway, we'll see where we, uh, this is the, uh, where are we? Shark Valley, Shark <laughs> Valley entrance. So yeah, see what we can find. Sweet, should be fun. So a lot of said we're going to Everglades Park and it's Shark Valley, but apparently all we're gonna see is alligators. What the heck? Why do they name it that? First gator sighting. There's chill. <laughs> I think uh, the next alligator we get, oh. Lada should uh, should be give it a big peck on the cheek. Yeah, you know? mwah, mwah. so I can get a selfie. All for the selfie. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Just chilling. I know alligators. Is your back getting all sweaty? I'm sure you'll show everybody that it is. Here we are. Ew! Look at that. But they're swamp lilies. I'm gonna take a picture. Mm -hmm. Let's get fine. This is the what was it called? Bobcat Bobcat Boardwalk Trail. I guess. It's shady at least. Often called the River of Grass, the Everglades is the largest designated wilderness in the eastern U.S., home to the endangered leatherback turtle, the Florida panther, and the West Indian manatee. So where are we at today? We are at Grassy Waters, which is like around the corner from my parents' house. It's another one of uh, Florida's swamps. They're pretty cool. Alligators, lily pads, birds, oh my. So quiet back here. Like, we're like barely, barely half a mile away from, uh, you know, civilization. Airplanes look as if they came from another planet, but they're native to the Americas, ranging from the southern United States to Argentina. In the wild, they use their roots to hang on the bark of trees, feeding on rainwater and bird poop they absorb through their leaves. I knew what those were. 
about it. You said they were, you thought they were, um, the roots, stumps, of, like the cypress trees? Maybe? I, yeah. I don't know. They look kind of like cypress trees. Yeah. I, I have a feeling they're still growing. They're not stumps. I'll have to do a little research on that. Yeah. Post a link. Our questions are answered. Those little stumps that come out of the ground are cypress knees. Interesting. For stability against the wind, it looks like. Hey, we're at the Green K Wetlands. There's lots of birds, some alligators, lots of cool stuff. Yeah, it's impressively uh, impressive the number of uh, animals here. Pretty wild. for a swim. the shy ones. I think there should be a picture of me on there. <laughs> so peaceful out here. I just wanted to look around and listen to the sounds of the birds. Oh, holy mackerel. Big old lizard over there. Holy cow. Good, good eyes. I Somewhere along the way, I became somewhat obsessed with all the swamps around South Florida. I'm not sure if it's because it's just so vastly different from what I'm used to or what. These wetlands fascinate me. Well, Green K Wetlands has uh, been quite a success when it comes to wildlife. Um, for me, we see egrets and all those kind of things, blue herons quite a bit, but it's those there's uh, birds of prey, like the falcons and hawks and whatnot that are cool. You see those flying around everywhere here. I wish this camera uh, could get in a little closer, but it just can't get that kind of zoom. I have to expect a monkey to come out of the trees. <laughs> The little buildings are fun. It's dark in here. So apparently this little chicky thing is a Native American tribe structure. This particular one survived two hurricanes, Francis and Jean, which happened in 2004 while this place was being built. Kind of cool.
Italian egret. Right up there. I think that's I stand corrected by a lot of, apparently it's a heron, not an egret. Got a little mouse in its uh, talon. Just looking at me. Okay, well, just got finished with a hike down here at Green K Wetlands in Delray Beach, and good time. Yeah, it was pretty cool. There was lots of birds and, and alligators and turtles and all kinds of wildlife stuff. And it was a, a raised boardwalk through some water and it was really cool. Was, I mean, the trails aren't super long. It was not quite a mile and a half, but it was absolutely worth the trip. Yeah, I agree. We decided to check out another wetlands whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce near Green K. It was pretty much more of the same and we didn't stay that long. Still, all these wetlands are really interesting. video we wrap up our trip with more beach time, some snorkeling, and that first sushi dinner we've ever had out together. <laughs> <laughs>